Okay, welcome back, guys. That was either Amps with problems, and that was an amazing tune. And because we do not have so much time on our side, let's move right into the next story for the day. And this story is really amazing, <laughs> it's really funny to me. I would not say amazing, but it's really funny to me. Bala Musa has dragged popular Kanyewood actress Adiza Gabon before a court over a refusal to marry him. The complainant told the court that he had been in a relationship with the actress and she promised to marry him. So far, I have spent 396,000 naira on her. Anytime she asks for money, I give her without hesitation with the hope that we will marry. Very short and precise. Straight to the point. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What in Nigeria? Okay, was there an agreement <laughs> when you were spending this money? I don't understand. Did you tell her that, hey, look, man, because I'm spending this money, we're going to get married? Or was she swindling you? Because I we need to look understand. at that as well. 300. What did the calculation, please? <laughs> Wait, how many months did he spend this? Exactly. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was really that's looking forward. So like, so uh, I'm spending many... one million naira in a day. Yeah, spending I don't understand. Years. For somebody girls, who just... is an ambassador for big brands yeah. and i feel she's she stands like you're a civil servant okay maybe that's why he's in that position to like he feels he can yeah. um recover that money back from her but now here is the uh, the fact that he's taking her to court she mm. can act he can actually recover his money because if she claims that she didn't know that this guy was spending this money on, on her, and um, of course it happens. Yeah, really, people, without an agreement, there was no written agreement. Do you do you know that, that we were going do, to marry? Do you know if, uh, as a celebrity, yeah, you have managers, you have PRs, yeah. and you have people who will go to some other person and say, "Hey, look, I can get you a date with this person so, yeah. if you pay me so so amount, I'll get out of convenience." So if that was her, if that was the case, case, she can actually say, "Okay, oh, I didn't know. Oh, how much is your money? We're gonna refund your money." But if she, if it was, if it was intentional and she knew that okay this guy kept on spending money and she was like oh alaji don't worry you don't worry what's i don't understand <laughs> where's this coming from guys I it, don't it happens because most girls who never they, they never want to define a relationship they just want to eat your money guys who just want to sleep with you without you see, actually that's, having that, that's why i say there, sh there should be an agreement all right that's what i always say so if i'm going into a relationship there should be a written contract it, me, it, be written, it must be written, friend. though. Um, it, might be, it might be a male WhatsApp message. WhatsApp messages right now admissible in court. So you can actually, Ooh. hey, you can, you the guy, you can just, guys, this is, this is a tip, all right? Learning from me. So you, <laughs> you can just type it and be like, hey, babe, okay. um, I think I want to get married to you. Um, or I think I just want to slip with you. I think just jokingly. Not and let you get her response. If she says, okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, fine. Let's, let's see, see how it goes. Doesn't mean I'm going to marry you. Yeah. Then, then again, you can say, oh, I'm, I want to transfer 50 grand to you all, hoping that you will, we will get married. I'm 100% sure that was not the case in this scenario. <laughs> I am 100% sure. And you know, I see, I'm very familiar with these Northerners here because... And these Northerners are very funny. Yeah, because I've lived with them all my life. It's like a bad guy coming to me and saying... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? So this northern is day day. Mm. They see, like if I see you right now, yeah, mm. I wanna, I want us to date. Mm. I'm gonna come to you directly. So I'm gonna look for somebody who knows you. Then, then maybe I'm gonna be like, can you please talk to her for me? Ooh. Then when he finally talks to you, when I come to meet you, I might not come. I might not still be direct with you. I might say, hey, how is your brother? <laughs> you, you, you have a very fine brother. Do you understand? So it happens. <laughs> <laughs> so. Maybe he wasn't direct. Mm. Well, he, kept on, he kept on bringing gifts okay, to the house forward. and say, hey, look, and the lady kept on accepting. That's why I usually tell a lady, if a guy buys you something that you know you can't afford or you can afford, ask the guy, please, what's, what's is the this motive for? behind what's this it? For? And Are I you serious? Yes, because sometimes a guy might give you something and he's hoping to get something in return and he's in his mind. Why like, is he hoping to get, this is not Trebe Bata era anymore, <laughs> please? Did, did, did you watch that, uh, what's his name, that comedian that said, if he buys a girl an iPhone 12, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what over 400, 500K. Uh, yeah. she, will, she will not just come to his house. She will go to the family house in the village, <laughs> sweep the entire village. Where are you guys <laughs> getting these guys from, please? I'm not sure that's not even applicable to this Gen but, but, Z's um, girls and all. You can't come to me. Guys are spending millions on girls these days yeah. and then... That's the fault of your Open not to recover it. And my darling, you get what you want, but please. But, okay, in well, a case where yeah. it is a man that is, um, you know... Depriving the lady of okay, let me say 
a man is promising to marry you as yeah. a lady, because I feel ladies are always victims of this more than men. Okay. So if a man is promising to marry me yeah. and I have given him my all, let's yeah. not put the financial part. Okay. He's doing his financial part properly. Okay. And we're both in a consented relationship. Okay. So what happens when he just changes his mind or he cheats on me? You see, me I always say, yeah, mm -hmm. you can sue the guy to court as well for promise and fail. You see, there's always need for an there's a need for I'm an agreement. I'm ready. Don't there's worry. Need, wait, did anybody promise you and he decided not to let us I'm know ready. that? I'm ready. Don't be worry. Your Let's go to court. <laughs> We're going to court. Yeah. <laughs> but this is so very funny to me. And if you think this is right in any way or you think is wrong, please do call in on 09098 to join the conversation. I said earlier on that I might have a gift for my first caller today. So please join in on this conversation and let's see what your take is. Moving right into the next story for the day. Johnny Depp's attorney on Johnny Depp's attorney appeared on several shows to slam his ex-wife Amber Heard's claim, claims the trial was unfair after she lost the high-profile case. The spoke of how happy Johnny was to have won the case and that he hasn't smelled like this in six years when his problems with Heard began. They also slammed Heard's claim that she lost the trial because he is more powerful and popular than she is, saying it's utterly false that social media played a part and claiming the jury simple, simply didn't like her because she, she, unlike Jenny, didn't take accountability for anything. The peer then suggested that he might even waive the $8 million judgment Amber was ordered to pay him. Our attorney said she can't afford it and revealed plans to file an appeal. Okay, so this story has been on and on and going for a while. And I really feel people's opinion and comments has really gone wildfire on this. For me, uh, I said this to a friend recently. I said, Is he, do, don't you just think Johnny's um, kind of stance in society or his, um, his popularity yeah. in the society, just like it's he actually said. Like the influence. Of winning. that actually influenced this trial. Yes. And for real, Johnny was more accountable. Yeah. And was very candid in his um um when he was giving his um in his um, facts and facts, evidence. Yes. Yeah. So I feel but on the other hand, Amber was just Amber Ed was just like she wasn't owning up to it, but she was giving an account. She had something to say to everything. Mm -hmm. But I feel the jury made their decision based on facts and evidence. Mm -hmm. But I still feel the reason why this is really going wildfire and is really an high profile case is it because, is it really, really because Johnny is popular or has more popularity than? If, if it was just left for the judge to make the decision, or that, so okay, maybe the judge was swayed by, you know, yeah, Johnny's... but it was a jury. But it was a jury, like, made up of mm. different uh, caliber of people. And I'm not sure they would just want to just hand, you know, um, the verdict to to Johnny and mm. knowing what, exactly what happened. Exactly. I think accountability was part of it. Yeah. The fact that she was all... You know, I watched a couple of clips where Johnny Depp was... And the, see, um, Herd's cancel, right? Mm. She needs to get a refund. Those guys didn't do it. They didn't <laughs> do justice at all. Because it was more like, you can't be questioning me and I'm answering, then I give you an answer, then you're more pain on me. You're like, okay, what's the next? Wow. What's next? So I think she didn't, she, she wasn't represented, she wasn't properly represented. Presented. So that's part of it again. And um, she didn't really give, or maybe she didn't tell her side of the story, a complete side of the story to the council. Exactly. And most councils were willing to jump into the case because, wow, it's Johnny Depp. It's going to make us famous. Hmm. And that's it. Exactly. And it would be nice if Johnny just like, yeah, man, $8 million, $8 million just go. Um, exactly. You could wait before yeah. because right now I feel like... But if it's me, though, I would say pay $4 million. <laughs> Keep before. You must pay something. <laughs> I would not expect anything less. I would not expect anything less. But this particular story, I feel um, people really need to learn from it. You need to know that you can stand up for yourself irrespective of the gender. Mm. Domestic violence knows no gender. Anybody can be abused. Anybody can be violated. You can sure. always stand up. Um, a claim is that we, uh, women now uh, have set backs uh, for the fact that they can't stand up for themselves like this
this particular story is going to be like a setback for women mm. who would be scared enough to actually stand up for themselves. But I feel like we should not victimize just one gender. Now we, we, we know and we clearly see that both genders can be victimized when it comes to domestic yeah. violence. So you need to stand up for yourself, no matter the gender. You need to stand up for yourself if you have been violated or abused in any way at all. And that's my own take on this story that has been going around for a while. Okay, let's move right into the next story. Rolling Stone released its list of 200 greatest hip-hop albums of all time. Mixed reactions have since followed the list released notably Cardi B's as Notably, Cardi B's invasion of privacy was ranked 16th. Fans couldn't believe their eyes as the Cardi B's 2018 album, album Invasion of Privacy, was ranked 16 ahead of Nas Magnus Opus, Illmatic. Kanye West's debut album, College Dropout, ahead of all two packs are bombs. Wow. Lil Wen's Carter 3, 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die, Trying, and countless other albums. Wow. Ding, 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 wow. Ding, 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 wow. 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 <laughs> Whoever compiled the list yet must be a young millennial. It uh, just felt like, oh, I feel, yo, I feel that way too. But I feel not just one person will be able to compile that list. That's a two, but it's, but it's, but it's two hundred. But there's always an influence. If we have like, if we have like four of us in here right now, yeah. there'll be that one person who has that much influence. influence like, oh, yeah. look, this Put person's got person. to be here. Yeah. So basically that's why. But I'm not sure. Cardi B, Cardi B as a rapper, yeah, I've always seen her as... More like that social media influencer who just who just, whole lot of ladies just like oh we like ah, her swag. Stop, and she's a good rapper, please. Well, she's you, good at what she I, does. I, I was just say yeah. Mm. After Eve, mm. the likes of Eve, Queen Latifah, mm. um, Lil Kim, um, Cardi B doesn't come close to any of those people. Stop. Yes, yeah, true. Stop. It's, 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 I mean, we're what? talking rap. We're talking, Yeah, you know, we're talking rap, but, but I feel Cardi B you, you owns see, a crown. Well, to, like I said, to the mm. young, to the young people of these days. They, okay, they, they, they call us young. <laughs> we are young and booge. <laughs> yeah, but, but Cardi B, when if we, if we talk about, what, what we can't even be talking about Cardi B when we have a Nicki Minaj. Nick, exactly. Okay, fine. Um, I'm not saying the least is 100% accurate yeah. because we have amazing, amazing tracks from these songs, um, these albums that were listed. Yeah. And I feel Cardi B's invasion of privacy coming in on the top 20 before Tupac's albums or uh, the Nas Magnus Opus, yeah. Yomatic songs. I think that one even got so much comment, so much um, buzz because everybody's yeah. like, really, really? And even Eminem's, um, Eminem's albums, some of them, and I'm like, okay, was I, I was this we need to know the criteria that was used in compiling this list i think like that i said it's still based on influence it, it, it list, might not be influence there's a list that came because, out a couple of weeks back where um like a video i saw where um a gucci main was among amongst the top 10 uh, biggest rap artists ever mm. and in there there was no eminem there was no jay-z yeah, was, I so, think I saw that one. You saw that. So, and, yeah, and Snoop was having an interview. Was like, I where was like, we did is like... Eminem. Eminem is not number one. <laughs> the, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> so, in, in the same yeah. way, everybody would blame certain awards. Of like, oh, this award is a... Uh, this people award, this one's people award. Of course, if mm. certain people want to organize something, they want to like, okay, let's look out for this person. person. She has her own interest at heart. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan age um, musicians and all of that. I think they were just trying to balance the equation, just not to put them right to the back. But Invasion mm. of Privacy actually was a very, very, very good album. Many people might not consider it classic, but I feel it's really nice and Cardi B owns a crown. Mm. But at least, I don't know what to say about it. I feel it's left to you guys and you can always call in. But I would have said you should call in, but I think I'm running out of time. Yeah. So I'm just going to move right into the last story for the day. <laughs> Bam Bam has taken to Twitter to outline why parents need to invest in their children. Bam Bam tweeted, parents... It is absolutely unfair to give this world badly behaved children or humans causing pain and havoc in the society. If you will not invest in them, please don't bet them. So we should not give bet again. 
I'm, I think the child that was spoiled was still spoiled. I don't understand. That's pretty dumb. There way. are people in your Bible say, Omotako to Beko, Ati Omotako to Beko, Ikono Mosha. I don't know the, I don't know the finish. I don't know I where I got that one from. Same to you. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying, but same to you. <laughs> so uh, I just feel. Any kid who is going to go wayward will go wayward. At the end of the day, you just need and to some try people, your best. Some people still say, no, be person will get money. They invest on their kids. Yeah, it's I, not I, everybody. There's, there's somebody I was talking to, and he said the reason why he did something for a particular person was because the, the young man, the young man is, is 34. He has seven kids already. I'm like, what are you doing with seven kids as a driver? What are you doing? I Seven kids this, as a driver. I, and he has he had concubines who had he had like baby mamas. I said and, this and, and I like, keep Yo. saying, I said, why do elites have just two, three kids and these people who are still average, you do not have a steady income, you're just living and managing yourself, yep. but then you still want to reproduce as much as it's, you can. It's, it's joblessness, the economy. I don't understand you know, this. When, you know, when you stay in a mansion, yeah, and you know, this guy's, you hear stuff like, Funka Kindle has her own room, mm. this other, the husband has his own room, mm. so you just, the contact's not there. But it's when you stay in these face me at face you apartment, and both I, of you have to lie on the same bed, bed small and the bed. Kids. And you we'll know, line up on the, so we'll sleep so, on the so the, the, the body friction, like man, and you check your time, like ah, there's no a job, I'm not going out friction. to deal. So you, you just, know, there's something called family planning. Nobody's saying you guys can afford, but please, okay, fine. Not everybody's educated enough to know that there's this family planning going on, but at least you need to plan your life. Any child, you know, ready to actually take care of, don't bring them to life. Stop begging people for money because these bills are getting too much that's the part me i'm going to complain about you can't bring your problems and people who actually have more problems than you Everybody your problem might be problem. your kids my own problem might be my parents my own problem might be something else but the more you bring these kids to life the more it is not only your own problem it becomes a society's problem of course Sure. become so much problem please i feel people really need to have more education on family planning you need we really need and i feel a law should be passed like every family should have a limit of um children that mm. they actually want to birth please let we need to control ourselves we know say moon and who enjoy ourselves but please eh? enjoy responsibly responsibly and i think i agree with bam bam of course and this is where we draw the curtain today but thanks for watching and as just nobody called in so i'm keeping my a gift to myself maybe i'll just give my producer who knows and to the sugar flakes, I go <laughs> this is why we draw the cutting of course but thanks for watching as always join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time and remember you can catch up on all our previous episodes including this very one and all exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa lifestyle you can also watch tea time on rt tv and in london on ben television and star times channel 308 a big thank you goes to my co-anchor sugar it was a amazing having you here today i really love it i enjoyed the show and i hope you guys did too and of course to the entire production team my producer thank you and to, of course the cameraman everybody right in the production room thank you so much and thanks for watching plus tv africa stay time my name is koforola have a nice day